Um, it's good to talk about the Scopes trial and, and the Leopold and Loeb trial because it's been so long since, uh, since those trials that a lot of younger people who may not know who Clarence Darrow is at all um, uh, also don't know what the Scopes trial and the Leopold and Loeb trial were. And because of that, uh, they are at a disadvantage in this play because the play makes a passing reference to those uh, trials without actually describing what the trials involved. Um, and so the, the, the Scopes trial, uh, interestingly enough, was uh, about the outlawing of the uh, teaching of evolution in schools. And um, uh, Scopes was a teacher in Tennessee who taught evolution and was arrested um, and um, was defended by, um, by Darrell in Tennessee. Uh, they lost, but the, um, but the trial got enormous amounts of press and became the subject of a movie uh, starring uh, uh, Spencer Tracy called Inherit the Wind. Um, you may have seen that on American Movie Channel or something like that. The um, Leopold and Loeb trial, probably the first of the uh, uh, truly sensational kind of senseless crime trials. Um, Leopold and Loeb were two middle class kids, uh, young men, who killed a young boy by the name of Bobby Franks and they killed him for no reason at all. Uh, they killed him only for the experience of it. And um, Darrow defended those two boys largely so that he could prevent them from uh, being hanged. Uh, he, was a, uh, he was a large, he was a very big proponent of uh, uh, of banning the death penalty. Uh, he says in the play that he defended 102 people that, 102 men that faced uh, the death penalty and not one of them hanged. Um, and he was, uh, he was passionate about uh, not only, not only the uh, saving of their lives, but for the upbuilding of society for the sake of, so that humanity can be more human and more merciful. 